Hey everybody, it's Robert. So uh, I just picked up this pedal box maximum response throttle drive by wire booster amplifier deal thing. So um, I'll be installing and testing it out. So stand by. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and installed it. It's daytime now because it was nighttime when I did it. I ran it through the little uh, cubby hole here and then it went underneath through the, um, the bottom of the uh, where the gas pedal is. It didn't take long. I'm going to go ahead and link you from another uh, forum member of how they did it with pictures so you can see how it was installed. But this is the pedal box right here. Um, trying to get focus. It looks exactly like this thing called a Remus uh, responder um, as far as the settings and everything, which is uh, might be just be the exact thing, just rebranded. So anyway, as you can see on the top, there's different modes. Right now I have it on um, sport mode. And there's a thing called Sport Plus, which is that middle red light. And then on the right, it's called Eco or Echo. I'm not sure what they call it. And that's going to go down uh, lower as far as um, RPMs and response. So I've try, been trying and I've been using... Um, that's off, by the way, when you push it again. So now I'm back over here in uh, Sport Mode. And I seem to like it a little bit better. I've seen some people, they say they like the response of uh, Eco better for daily driving. But... It seems I, I like sport a little bit better. And I've been running this this morning all in um, normal mode. I usually I have DSG and I'm usually running in, in sport, but uh, a race, I'm sorry, race mode. But I'm running in normal mode because um, it doesn't need the extra high RPMs or response. And the advantage of this thing, I mean, some people will say, why not just uh, push more pedal? And that's true. But uh, the problem with the drive-by-wire is that there's a thing called tip-in or tip-in delay. So this is your pedal and you're about to gas it. It kind of just grabs as far as voltage, as far as on and off. It doesn't have as much gradual um, power to send to the ECU to give more acceleration. So whereas you're pushing down on it in the tip-in, there's a little delay. And then when you finally get to the sweet spot, it'll kick in. And of course, you could just handle the rest by pushing the gas down. So what this does is that you don't have that delay there. It basically fills up that gap. So um, I think it's a good mod for what it is. I mean, it's over 300 bucks, uh, brand new. So, I mean, if you're going to get a tune, an ECU tune like APR or the other uh, companies, they actually control that throttle response already for you. So you don't have to do that. It's only important if you're... Um, running like something like me. I'm running JB1. So JB1 does ha have any relation to the throttle control. So um, any type of piggybacks, you're not going to have any throttle control. So that's the advantage of getting this pedal box and um, playing with it. You just got to find your sweet spot. I found that Sport Plus was a little too crazy. Uh, I used to have two BMWs, a 135 and also E46 M3. And the 135 uh, being in Sport mode was actually better. So you get a better um, response as far as that that um, gas pedal delay. And uh, the M3, I liked it in regular mode. As soon as you put it in sport, that thing was just herky-jerky. You would just be, pretty, you know, you, you look like you're an idiot driver <laughs> driving, putting that in sport mode. So, and it had obviously no power difference. When I bought the car, actually, it was funny. The owner, the original, told me that gives me like more horsepower which is not the case. These things do not give more horsepower. It's solely for response time. And um, some people might agree with it. Some people might not agree with it. But for me, I like it. Um, and um, if you could get used so you could try it, then you could probably flip it for the same price you put it into. The